Hello, welcome to SCR1 TNO Knitting Project. My name is Sharon and I am coming to you from Surrey in the UK where I live with my family, three cats and a dog, any of which could put in an appearance during this podcast. Uh, this is my podcast about my knitting mainly, a little bit of spinning this week. Um, and it's all about my six day rolling rotation of my whips, which is the way I get my whips done. This is episode 12 scarily and it is sunday the 24th of march 2019 welcome to any returning viewers thank you for sticking with me and welcome to any new viewers i hope you enjoy my podcast so day one is socks and at the moment the only socks i worked on this week are these ones and they're living in a busy pottering bag with little wooden animals on them and these are my christmas socks and i am I'm sorry if you're a returning viewer and you hear this every week, I'm really sorry, but what I'm doing is I am trying to do 31 pairs of socks for December. I'm not going to do them this year, I might get them done for next year, you never know. Um, this is pair 10 and I am doing the Waiting for Henry socks by Tabitha Gandhi. The colourwork socks and I am doing large size needle for the colourwork at the top. And then back to my normal 2.5 millimetre needles for the heel and foot. Now I'm doing a heel flap and gusset just because it fits me better. I did try the heel that came with this pattern. It's a lovely heel, but it just doesn't fit my feet. So I went back to my normal heel. And this is how far I got on it this week. I was there. This is a little Jiggles and Beans progress keeper. There he is, little frosted lolly. He doesn't want to stay around the right way, look. There we go. So I was there, so I've done the last colour work repeat, turn the heel, and now I'm whizzing up the foot. In fact, I'm very nearly on the toe. A little bit longer, and I would have done the toe. And that is, they're on a needle holder, although that one's pinged out. Doesn't normally do that. I have a feeling I didn't put catch that in. I was very tired when I put these away, so I probably didn't catch them in. Um, needle Cozy from um, Craft House Magic. I love Needle Cozies. And the yarn I'm using is a set from Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears called to, And To All A Good Night. And it came with this gorgeous sparkly red. And then minis of green and yellow. I finished with the green now, so I'm fairly certain I've got enough left there to go into my cozy memories blanket, which is great. And I need to do the toe in that yellow. So nearly done. Um, and then I need to find another skein of Christmas yarn to do my next pair. So yeah, that's my waiting for Henry socks. Although I'm not allowed to start another pair even Christmas pair until I have some of the many, many sock whip I've got with my needles off my needles. So yeah, that was day one. Sock day. So day two is shawl day and it's my very exciting FO of the week. Um, I don't have an FO every week, but I have this week and it is my Dust of Snow wrap by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade and I've done it in my minis from my advent calendar from Hedgerow Yarns and held together with mohair and it is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Now I've taken some photos of this yesterday so I will put some photos in either here or at the end depending on my mood when I'm editing but it's so pretty. It is massive. And I did get around the blocking issue by blocking it on my washing line, sort of flat on my washing line. It's still got some, it still has some nature on it from where I blocked it, uh, took photos around my tree. So yeah, absolutely adore it. I can't see what you can see in the camera. Hopefully you can see it. Hold it vaguely in the right direction. It's so soft, it's so silky, it's so pretty, and I absolutely 
absolutely adore it. Oh, it's got lots of bits of nature on it. <laughs> now my floor have lots of bits of nature on it. I didn't think that through. Yeah, absolutely adore it. Not too sure how I'm going to wear it, mind you, but yeah. I'll get this right on my shoulders for now because it is chilly in here. <gasps> it's going to wear my dust of snow. Out. I've got a couple of weddings coming up in the summer and I'm going to buy a um, a dress that will go with it so I can wear it. Does anybody else do that? Buy, knitting, buy, buy items of clothing to wear with your netwear rather than knitting items of clothing to wear with your dresses. But yeah, I absolutely adore it. I will find out by the end of the podcast whether I can wear mohair or not or whether I start sneezing. So, yeah, that's my, my finished object of the week is my dust of snow wrap which I absolutely adore um, I have got plans for a new show um, the lovely Laura of the Lonely Knitting podcast um, is constructing a DK weight triangular show and I'm hoping she's going to let me knit that one probably going to do it as a test knit and I'm doing some yarn choices at the moment so you may see that next week, you may not, depends on whether Laura has a chance to do her pattern. Um, if not, <laughs> I have another Helen Stewart um, shawl, which is the Matham shawl from last year, somewhere in my house. It's half done. But I've lost the project bag it's in, so I've lost the project. Um, and I've looked in three places where it had to be. It had to be one of those three places and it's not in any of them if i find it i will work on that next week if i don't um i may give shawl week a miss until i get the new shawl because i don't want to cast on something new when i know this one's in the in the pipeline um having said that it does occur to me i might just whip off the ship shift cow in my hand spun that's a possibility we'll see next week that's next week's problem so don't worry about it now so that's a day two shawl day and my finished object so day three is garment day it's hanging out in this giant bag from busy pushering and it is my Poinguono by Stephen West and it's massive and it's refusing to come out of the bag come on out you come so Last week I was where my little sheep is, which is there. See my little sheep? I'm fairly certain that's a sugar top sheep. And I have finished the first sleeve. There is a lot of knitting in these sleeves. They are bigger than they look and it's um, seed stitch. So it takes a while. It did. It took me most of yesterday to get it to that point. So that is the first sleeve done I did my shoulder panel on the other side and I have picked up for the sleeve so I'm about to do the other sleeve that's the back you can see there that bit there that's the back so yeah I've just picked up for the other sleeve again needle cozy so actually if I take this off a moment which I don't want to do because it's lovely and warm I think I can pop this on so you can actually see it's beginning to look a lot like a garment. It's not going to be as tight as that is because I've tightened the um, end on. So yeah, that's that's how it's sort of going to go. If I stand up, you can see. Is that's one side of it. So pretty. So yeah, I've got literally got. I think there's something like 16 segments to it and I'm on segment 14 so I'm really getting there I think there's another slit there's the other sleeve which I've just picked up and then there's um, the welt and the collar there's the, the the ribbing around the bottom which isn't ribbing it's something else around the bottom and then the, the little shawl collar and it's done so I mean, it'd be very optimistic to say that that'll be an FO by the end of next week. I don't think it will. It'd be lovely if it was done by the end of March, wouldn't it? But um, 
I don't think it will. I don't think I'll have a chance to get that finished. It's going to take a lot of knitting to get that sleeve done. But hopefully by the following podcast, it should be, might be finished by then. It occurs to me blocking that will be fun. I wonder if it will need blocking. There's a question. I wonder if it actually even will need blocking. I don't know. I'll have to have a look at it because, yeah, blocking that's going to be interesting. What I might do is wash it and then flatten it on top of the work surface in the kitchen between two towels um, and sort of press it that way. Not, not iron it, but just press it down with my hands and um, just sort of lie it flat and leave it there to dry and hope nobody needs to do it, use the work surface for a while. <laughs> So yeah, that's day three, garment day. That's my Penguino by Stephen West. And the yarn is Woolly Goodness yarn. Um, and I'm using... So yeah, the yarn is Woolly Goodness yarn. And I'm holding three strands together to do this. Which is two strands of fingering weight and one strand of mohair. So it's got a bit of a halo to it. So again, I really hope I can wear mohair. Oh, this will make a lovely shop sample for Jenny for Holy Goodness Yarns because it's all her yarn. Such pretty colour, she's such a pretty dyer. And I am knitting that on six and a half millimetre licky needles, which I'm not going to get out because they are attached to my sleeve. And I think that might not end well. So yeah, that's a day three garment day. So day four is my corner to corner crochet blanket or my or the mitts I'm making for my friend Kelly and this time in the rotation it was a corner to corner blanket which is living in my travel bag which was a present from Anne of Busy Pottering and in it is my corner to corner crochet blanket now where is there is the hook so that's the I made a magic knot ball and these are all minis from Kelly that she gave me that she had left over I made a giant magic knot ball with it so I'm going into sort of the reds and browns and auburns and yellows now and this is the progress that they're getting quite long these rows now so, if I remember, I'll try and take a proper photo of it and pop it in at the end um, of it on my bed so we can see some progress. Isn't that pretty? Look at that yellow on the top there. Love it. Here we go. Aha! And there is my progress keeper, which is a butterfly from Corner of Craft. So that's how much I did. So I did three rows? Four rows. I did four rows. And they're very long rows now, so it takes a while. It doesn't look like I've done much, but I really have. It's so pretty. I like how it's going dark to light, back to dark again. But yeah, what I'll try and do um, is pop it on the end of my bed and take a photo, and I'll pop it in at the end. Pop all my photos on at the end, and hopefully you can see it a little bit better, because it's just, it's getting very big to show. But it's very pretty. I love it. It's even, got, even this has got some mohair on it. Very mohairy week. So yeah, that's day four, corner to corner blanket day this week. So day five is mystery blanket day, and I'm going to show you that on next week's, no, not next week, the week after's podcast. But that's living in my bag by Awesome Granny Swan Lake bag, which I love, and. Um, because it's a mystery, it's the Debbie Abraham's 2019 Mystery Blanket Club. Because it's a mystery, I'm, I don't want to spoil anybody, so I'm not going to do it till the first one of the following months. This is March of Squares. Um, I'll be honest, I've only done, I think this is number, I think it might be number three of five. So there's no way I'm going to get them all done by the end of the month. Um, especially as it is in fact mystery blanket day to day and because I'm editing I don't get as much time to spend knitting so that's definitely not getting I, was, I don't think I'll get two squares done today especially as one of them is a fair isle square no no I won't get two done today <laughs> but I do need to take that downstairs with me so that's day five mystery blanket day 
So day six is my scrappy project day and it's also in a bag by Busy Pottering. Little blue tick bag, which I think she did as part of the Tits Out Collective. I think that's right. Um, I love the inside of this bag. Such pretty little egg fabric. So pretty, I love this little bag. And this is doing, is um, my day six, which is Scrappy Project Day. And is this time in the rotation, I have three Scrappy Projects that I rotate on Scrappy Project Day, which is a Bits and Bobs blanket, a Hexi Puff blanket, which I showed last week. And this, which is a Stitch in Time blanket. And let me take that off because it's going to be easier to show. Here we go. And this is a pattern by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bear. And I'm doing it in Hedgerow Yarns, her mini sets that she does, and um, a pink that she did. There we are. That's the pink edging, which I'm not convinced might not be it. It's, it's certainly a single, it could be a lace weight. Um, but it's going around the edge fine. It's bordering this really nicely. If I hold it back here, you can see it. So I'm putting the borders on at the moment. And this is going to be a centre square because amusingly I didn't have all my other squares with me. So I couldn't work out whether I needed to do 10 garter ridges on the edge or just 5 to make it a centre one. So I was like, well, I'm definitely going to need a centre square. So I'll definitely make it a centre square. And... Um, then I realised that in actual fact the rest of them were actually sitting next to me on the sofa. But this fell on Tuesdays, which is when I do guides, so I didn't have an awful lot of time to knit on it, hence why I've only got one side done and the other side partially done. So yeah, I really do like it, and that's got a needle cosy from Craft House Magic. It's a little heart, I love her needle cosies. So that's day six scrappy day. So that's the end of my six day rolling rotation of whips because they it's six days, they fall on different days of the week. So look, for instance, my scrappy project, which is the stitch in time, was on a Tuesday, which I don't get much time to knit. It won't fall on a Tuesday the next time it comes into the rotation. And that's why I do it, because I just have more time. And obviously weekends, if I don't have a busy weekend, I have a lot more time to knit. So projects that fall at the weekends get a lot more time. Um, hence why I got this finished, because this was on Saturday. Friday. Friday? Saturday? Friday. I got it finished on Friday. So it was on Friday, so that Friday's my day off work. So that's why I got time to get that finished. So last but not least is my cosy memory blanket which is another busy pottering bag. It's her seaside print. And she's got these in her shop at the moment and they're lovely. And, oh yeah, <laughs> I haven't opened today's mini that goes with this yet, so I'll do that in a moment. This is my cozy memory blanket. I did show this on Instagram actually this week because I've squared off the corner, so I'll pop a photo of this in the end as well. But these are the squares I did this week or some of them these are all from Needle and Fred as in F-R-E-D Fred here's the lovely Libby who I've um, recently just followed on Instagram and is in EYF this weekend and looks like she's having a great time bless her and yeah lovely I love these pink colours this is really lovely and it went to the proper raspberry there and that one and a bright purple so pretty so that's that one and then I think I've got yep I have I've got a grey <laughs> on the end there so now starting along this line so what I do is I do all the way up one side so that all the way up that side this is getting so big I can't show it in the camera all the way up that side and then I start again from down there and then go all the way up there so it squares off each time I finish a row and it always makes me happy when I square off and I always try and take a progress photo when I square off so I took one this week so I'll put that in so should we should we see should we see what's in today because I haven't done today's yet because I slept in let's have a look exciting oh that's pretty look at that isn't that lovely 
Oh, Libby, I'm going to look forward to putting this one in. So I shall pop that into my blanket today whilst I'm editing the podcast. Yeah, that was exciting. <laughs> live, live opening of little packages. Yeah, it's really pretty. So that's my cosy memory blanket. So that brings me into mail this week. And I have a little bit, I have a little bit of mail this week. Um, I got hit by the spring bug and the lovely Helen of Giddy Yarns. This is her Giddy Sock 25, uh, 75, 25. Um, and she's done a spring collection. Let's see if I can hold them all up together. Is that one? And I adore those colours and I am going to make a fade with them, I think. Or a colour block, one of the two. There was a colour block book jumper I showed you last week from the book I'd got, which was um, Marie Green um, Seamless Sweaters book that I got on Amazon. It's linked in last week's show notes. Um, I might make the colour, colour block sweater out of them. I really like it although that is a DK pattern but what I, I could either hold these double or um, I'll do some math and work it for fingering weight it's so pretty and because I want to make a garment out, out of those but I still want to possibly do something with some minis I bought the mini set of it as well which they are so pretty and then my dear friend Jenny from Willy Goodness Yarn put out some very, very, very spring sock sets. These are all self-striping. If you go to her Instagram feed, you can see how they stripe and they're so pretty. And you get a choice of colour of minis with most of them. I chose a green one. And that's that one. And then there's... This one, which is kind of the same but a bit more muted. And then this one, which pink and grey are my favourite colours together. I love pink and grey. I had to get that one. And this is Self Striping Sock 4 Ply on um, 7525. So pretty. I love, love her little shape. She designed him herself. And she did minis too, and I'm def there's a theme to my minis at the moment. I'm definitely liking these spring colours. They're lovely. And last but not least, um, the lovely Megan of Lay Family Yards, who is Kelly's daughter, is making little project bags. And that's getting blown out by the camera. I'm sorry. And it's the prettiest little daisy. As I said, spring. It's just a spring to me in a bag. It's lovely and squishy, which I need a squishy bag to go in. So for those times I need a sock in a handbag. It's just lovely. It's got little ribbon handles. Perfect little drawstring bag. And inside, it's their new stamp, which looks amazing inside the project bags. These are so good, Meg. They've done such a brilliant job. Lovely square bottom. It does stand up stands up on its own and at the moment the sets are coming with little eggs inside which have got minis I've got one that's open here that one that one opened it's got little little minis inside as well that are coming with it so lovely so my idea is I am going to try and find some spare 2.5 millimeter needles throw them in the bag and use the minis to make some socks and if I haven't got quite enough then I've got loads of lay family yarn minis I will find some more so yeah well done Megan it's absolutely gorgeous I love it so pretty it's such a talented family so that is my mail this week probably enough for one week so the other thing I have managed to do is I have actually managed to do some spinning this week and this is a bat from 
um, chiffon crafts and it's a gradient grey with Stellina. I'm not sure of the fibre content, I cannot find the little note that came with it but I have actually managed to do some spinning this week. So this, bo this bobbin's finished and then I'm going to spin the other half onto another bobbin so I can ply the two of them together and yeah, so yeah, that's that's my spinning this week. I'm so glad that I've actually managed to do some spinning and that my knee's been okay and hasn't suffered too much from doing the spinning. So podcasts I've watched this week. I have watched The Grocery Girls. Um, they have got a very long episode up. My lovely friend Laura of The Lonely Knitter. Betsy Makes. The Bakery Bears. They had their episode up. Rude. Honestly. In Bella's defence, that is my dog Bella barking, we are due our shopping order, which means she will bark at anything that drives up the road, thinking it is our shopping order being delivered. Waiting for a knock at the door. Okay, someone's got it. Okay, so, going back to podcasts. <laughs> Watch the Bakery Bears, they had an episode out this week and it's they're doing their new adventures which is brilliant. I love the um, history sections they do on that, it's so good. And um, Northern Knits, who are a new podcast to me, they're Canadian and um, very, very funny. I love them together, their chemistry together is really, really good. I think they're really good friends, um, rather than related, but they call themselves Sisters in Fibre, so they could be related. But they are really, really, really good. Love them. Um, and then of course there's the EYF vlogs are all coming out which is great I mean thank you to those that are vlogging EYF for those of us that can't go it's great to watch it and the ones I'm watching are Pins and Needles which I adore them that Zoe and Jenny are so much fun I'm so sorry about my dog what are you barking at now Belle? It's way too early for our shopping order. Turns out it is our shopping order half an hour early. I will be back. Back from a break to put away the shopping order that was half an hour early. Thanks for that. Um, the only thing I've got left now is um, just life stuff and what's been going on this week. Um, start with the obvious one. New glasses which is great because I can see you and I can see my notes at the same time. <laughs> so I'm quite enjoying the, the fairy focals. Um, they are, they're taking a little bit of getting used to, but they're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. I'm, I'm quite, I'm okay with them. I can walk downstairs with them on, which is good. They warned me not to do that for a little while. Um, I had a knit night with the lovely Laura of The Lonely Knitter. We FaceTimed each other and talked for hours. It was brilliant. Thank you so much for that, uh, Laura. It was a really good night. really enjoyed it. I'm still recovering from our late night. <laughs> but it was good. It was a really good night. Um, the girls, my eldest has a cold. Bless her. Katie has a cold. Um, so she's suffering a little bit today. Um, Charlie, my middle daughter, went to an alpaca farm yesterday with her niece, and um, which is her other half's sister's little girl, um, and they had a great time at the alpaca farm, and she came back, because she is a good yarn daughter, she came back with yarn, look at that, so I've got four balls of it, two of the blue, two of the white, so going to be mittens, colour work mittens, definitely. Um, I mean, it's alpaca, it is soft, but it's not actually as soft as you might think. So I'm not sure how well it will work, but they'll be super warm. Um, but yeah, colour work mittens from, and let me remember, oh, that one went for a run. There we go, there's the other one, that's going to blow out anyway. Um, yeah, from an alpaca farm in the Ashdown Forest, which is quite close to where I live. Yeah, <laughs> bless her good yarn daughter so that was charlie um and megan just had a normal week and she went to a wedding yesterday bless her so she said a just a normal normal week for her ravelry group um 
was hoping to get that up last week didn't manage it we'll hopefully get it up this week uh, my lovely friend Katie has agreed to be a moderator moderator on it because I do have a day job and I do spend half my summer away so I'm not going to be as active as maybe I should be in it and I want to make sure it is a safe place for everybody to be so Katie's going to help me do that so thank you very much Katie I'm very very grateful and I'm sorry I haven't messaged you this week it's been a really crazy week um so yeah new youtube <laughs> you may notice that the channel for youtube my logo has changed it is now some balls of yarn i think um, i've been playing around with branding my channel um which is a load of behind the scenes youtube things that you can do um because i've had to put on a second account onto the one channel for various reasons but mainly because the email address that is linked to my youtube account i cannot change for some reason and um it's it's won't let me change it so i've had to add a second email address on it so hopefully i can delete the first one and keep the second one it's been a nightmare and i have been playing with that all week and that's one of the reasons i didn't get the ravelry um group sorted out was because i was still trying to get the youtube sorted out so if it looks a bit different that's why it will change again i am currently working with sam draws things to make a proper logo so you will see see my logo come up at some point in the not too far distant future um so that was that's why it looks a bit different but it's still me i'm still there um next week i will be recording on saturday because here in the uk sunday is mother's day and my girls have something special planned for me so i'm going to record saturday um i'm not yet decided whether i'm going to put it, just wait record saturday and just put it up on sunday as normal but we'll see sunday was never going to be my podcast day it was always supposed to be thursday but i've never quite managed to move it to the thursday so i'm just leaving it with the sunday it works for me um uh, yeah and people are used to me coming up on a sunday evening so i'm gonna leave it for sunday for now um if you do like the video on that note please please like and subscribe um it helps me reach more people which i would love to do um, and I think that's it for this week. Um, the week coming is quite a quiet week for me, so I'm hoping to get the Ravelry group sorted. Normally when I say that, it all goes to pot and I end up with the wittiest week known to man. Um, and then, um, as I said, next weekend I will record on Saturday. So, I hope you have a great week wherever you are. I will see you next week. Take care.